everybody, it's Francine here again today for another fun day of flowers. Um, I've been having um, a bit of fun as you could see I posted the picture I was meant to be raking the leaves in the garden and I got a bit carried away. So, um, yeah, making letters and shapes and really I think we call it a little bit of land art. I was having a bit of fun in the garden. Um, and this morning I woke up and I could hear the birds singing. Good morning everyone. And we had um, the little quail, we've got quite a little family of them now, there's about 40 of them that go running around the garden. And then a big wood pigeon flew in, a kiru, and it landed in the tree and I thought, yes, that's been having a really good time, no one's been annoying it, so it's put on a little bit of weight. <laughs> like me really but anyway I digress so today I've been getting questions about how to use a pin holder so I thought well I'm going to use I've got some here some different sizes and they're really good at the moment to be able to use in fact they've been around for years and a really good place to get them hi everyone hi Michelle I got a message from you I was going to try and contact you a bit later hi Lynette um, and it's pin holder now these have been around for years so it's just a, like a little lead weight and it's just got some pins in and they come in all different shapes all different sizes and going to the um, thrift shops or the opera shops we call them here in New Zealand the opportunity shops um, you can pick them up and they're really really good so these are different sizes really really weighted um, so I've got some of those here to show you. So I thought I'd show you how to use them um, as I'm getting questions. So why not keep answering them? Um, so I've got one here. I found this. Well, actually, my friend Maureen, um, really good friend doing Florida, she um, had this gorgeous vase. She said, I don't want it anymore, Francine. And it had a pin holder in it. Can you see the pin holder in there? Nice big square one. Um, but because there's like a bit of a bottom in here, um, it's got this Oasis fix that we use, and I've talked about Oasis fix before. It's a really sticky, it's a bit like blue tack or plasticine, really, really sticky. So you put that on the corners and anchor it in and push it in hard and it's waterproof. So once it's in there, it's sealed. Now I'm going to show you another way. Oh, hi Wendy, lovely to see you from Dorset um, and all you other people there. It's lovely to see you from Australia as well. Um, Right, so I'm going to show you how to do one using the pin holder and then I'm going to show you another design as well that we can use using the plastic frog and it's not like the frog that leaps around well it depends if your mechanics aren't very good it will leap around um, but I'll show you how to use that so anyway I digress I've been into the garden to pick some flowers my mechanics are nice and secure that's nice and solid in there and then I'm thinking now what am I going to put in this is such a good design for being able to show off some specialty flowers again. Good morning, Elizabeth. Um, so I've got some Bird of Paradise. I've only got one open at the moment, but I mean, in itself, it's just magic, isn't it? Just one there. But I did have one, the bud coming, so I thought, well, we'll give it a little friend and give him a bud. Give him a buddy. <laughs> you know. <laughs> so I'm going to give him a bud. And the idea is that they actually spike onto the pins. So they'll actually spike and skewer on there. Now I can't lift this up too much, otherwise it's all going to go on the floor. But it's just showing, now give them a bit of space. Don't have them where they're sitting right tight to each other. Have that little bit of space in between them. And it's showing off their beauty. It's just, just in themselves, they're just such a magic thing to use. Um, Heliconias look amazing like this. Um, but any of your specialty flowers that you've got um, in Australia, I love the gingers. And being able to use the honeycomb gingers you could use those in here and it's really just showing off those really heavy specialty flowers um, so that's what we're going to do so I've got those there that I thought I wanted to give it a couple of um, leaves in the back um, I, but I'm actually going to make it a back I'm going to put, put one there and what I'm liking about that is see the color here coming up through the center it's repeating the color that I've got here on the strelitzia so it's taking that line of color coming from here and then it's passing on in through that one and I'm going to take this one down just a little bit lower and again laying it a little bit to the back and just spike it on make sure it's nice and secure that one I moved it so it might not but there you've just got your two leaves just like that and give them space let them show off how beautiful they are even just having a few things like that with some stones would look great but oh, I wanted to put in a little bit more. Hello to Scotland. Nice to see you in Scotland and Canada, Pakistan. Um, so now I've also went out and I look at my plant material. And I think, well, I've got a strong line here. 
a strong line here, I want to soften it and I want to bring my eye back into the design. So you really have to watch this tip because it's taking my eye off out here. So by having one of these aloe spikes of the aloe vera plant, I looked for something that was curving, that had a bit of shape that was going to take my eye. So when I actually pop it in onto the spikes in here, you have to just do this very carefully so you don't kebab yourself. Put that on, open it out a little bit, and now I've got my eye coming back in. So now I'm going to give another couple here and just open the design up a little bit. I'll put another one down in through there, just giving it a little friend, and I'm opening it now, making it more three-dimensional, giving it a bit more shape. So I'm just going to put another one in there. Really just got to watch what I'm doing. I'll put another one in through there. Might open that out just a little bit more. So just look at the beauty in the plant material and the pattern that's been created on the end of the aloe spikes is rather gorgeous. So I might put in one more. I don't really want to go too even like dot, dot, dot. So I might put one out through here to take another one out there. Just if I like that out there. I'll know when I put it in whether I like it or not. So now I've got these two in the middle. I've got the aloe spikes here, which is giving me that nice bit of depth and a little bit of rhythm to take my eye back up into the design. These ones are pointing away a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I've got the alocasia. <laughs> it's nice to see you too in the UK. Um, I've got these here. Oh, look, in Dublin, in Ireland. Oh, you're gorgeous in Ireland too. Um, this is the alocasia jade billing. And again, I looked at it and I looked at the shape that was going. And I want to bring my eye back in following the line of here. So what I'm going to do is put one in through there like so. Again, let's just... Bit of space, don't have it where it's cramped too tight. So I'm going to put one through there. Now it's taking my eye in, and then I'm going to put another one out through here. Put that one in through there again. Don't just be careful when you're putting them on there, little spikes, and open it out. Just two leaves like that. Do I like that? No, I don't. I'll pull that one off. It needs to come into here. That's where I need it because it was looking a little bit bare and unbalanced from the front. So you really need to watch your placement of your flowers. Even though you're only using a few, do look at your placements and make sure you've got nice rhythm, nice balance. Now, these are all bringing my eye up to the top because of the way I've pointed those leaves. It's such a simple design to do. Now, what I'm going to do now is I don't want to put that one in and I don't want to put that one in. I'm now going to pour the water in. Make sure I've covered the pin holder and I've covered the stem so they're going to get a really good drink in there. And then just to hide the mechanics, I've got some nice stones here. So I'm just going to pop a few stones in. The black stones going to pop around the edge of the pin holder. This is a great design for just being able to show off the flowers. few more around here just to hide the base. I must put them all in. This is going on my table. My house has never looked so pretty with all the flowers that are in there. So that's just showing me how to do that design there. Simplicity at its best. Um, I might just move that one over just a fraction. I'm not too happy about the way that one's sitting. So just angle it a little bit more. That stone's way on that one. I'll just put that one in underneath there. Just like that. Now, if you wanted to give it a little bit more rhythm, sometimes you might want to just leave it clean, like just like that. You may want to use, I've got a little bit here, the old man's walking stick, it's a beautiful plant. And it's got catkins on it as well at the moment. See the little catkins on here? So I'm going to pop that in and I might put a little bit of rhythm into you. Just very simple, don't get too heavy with it and take away from the lightness of your design. So again, skewer that in onto your spikes. Make a little bit in through there and just be careful. Got to be very gentle with this design. Pop that one in. And now I've got that little bit of rhythm just coming up in through that design. So what do you think? It's just quite a simple one. And that's how you use a pin holder. So keep an eye out for them if you can see, you know, see any around because they are magic. So I'm going to put that design to the side there. Because I thought, oops, put that one in there. See what happens when you move them. Just sit there, sunshine. Um, so I've got that sitting there. So now what I'm going to do, oh, this is great to see you all. I, oh, I love what you've, oh, you, you do like what I've done. Thank you for that, Lois. It's just showing the simplicity. 
Sometimes we do a lot of techniques like I did yesterday, incorporating and building a design that way. But sometimes the beauty of the flowers is so beautiful just on their own, just by simply placing a few in a container, it shows them off. And hello in Canada to you too. Now what I'm going to do is I was having a little wander and I thought I'm going to do another design. I've just got a ceramic tile here, but it was white around the edge, so I've just given that a little tickle up with a bit of paint. I'm going to pop that on there. Then I've got some of, this is the new Noor um, Oasis, the Black Oasis, it's quite nice. Um, and I've got, these are called frogs. I was going to actually download a picture for you of a frog and say it's not this one, but it's one of these. These are called frogs, so they're plastic pin holders. Oh, good morning, Mary. Um, so they're really, really good to use if you've got a dish or a flat container. So then what you do is you get your Oasis fix and you go a little bit onto here, try not to touch it, and you cut it. And then you're going to put it where you're going to put the put the um, block of oasis. So you squish that on, and make sure that it's dry because mine's not dry. I didn't have that dry on that side. So we'll go over this way. Make sure we squish it on, and it's an uneven surface. So you just have to manipulate a little bit with your hand and warm it up. Oop, it's not going to stick. Okay, you might have to use a little bit more. Power of gentle persuasion. You're going to go on there whether you like it or not. Okay, so put another piece on. That's it. That's better. And then get it, I'm going to give it two because of the weight that I'm going to be putting on this design. But I'm going to have to just put a little bit on here. Try not to touch it too much with your fingers. Put another bit on there. That's better. Now it's going to hold. And what I'm going to do, so I've got my got my frogs on there with my bit of Oasis fix. What was that about my plant knowledge and sharing? Oh, I like sharing. It's all about sharing. That's what floral art is, really. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use an aspidistra leaf and I'm just going to wrap it um, around this way. I think I'll go, no, I'm going to go this way. I'm going to wrap it around that way. And I've got a couple of mossing pins, so I'm just going to moss pin that into place. And I've got another one. I'm a bit light on the aspidistra at home at the moment. I've only got a couple of little plants at the moment. Maybe if I, maybe if I left them alone, they might grow a little bit better. So I'm going to come around again. I'm going to cut that. I'm going to wrap it around, just like wrapping a little parcel, put the mossing pin in, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the mossing pin side down, so that I've actually got that on there, so now we've got my block of foam, normally I'd have that completely covered, but this was a last minute idea, so um, they're saying with the black foam you can let it show, but I still like to hide it, so what I thought I'd do is I'm just going to put in a couple of, of the vets header leaves coming in through here, and you can spike right through the aspidistra leaf, which is really, really good. Right, put another one out through this way. And through here. Take another one up just a little bit. And through there. If it won't stay, which I'm going to just wire this one a little bit, I think. Come up through the back of the leaf. Don't wire that. Like that. Then I can bend it to get it to go where I want it to go. If I wanted to show that side, I could, but I want to show it this way. Put that in through there. That's better. That's going to hold it much better for me. And that one is not holding, so I'm going to do the same thing. Just the wiring just makes the stem a lot more secure in there. So it pays to wire. If you feel it's not going to hold, don't be afraid. Just pop a wire in it. Now that's going to lay where I want it to. A bit more control. I've got that there like that. Hey, I'm glad it's really strong mechanics, so this could really be quite a sad time if it all fell on the floor. <laughs> um, the heat here doesn't, the fix doesn't work here, but the dots work well with frogs. Yes, they do work well with frogs using the dots as well. Um, sometimes you can heat, heat this and it will actually melt on a bit more and that will also adhere to it, Selma. So, um, but anyway, whatever works for you, but the dots are amazing, aren't they? So now I'm just going to put in a bit of the leather fern that I had in the bottom garden. Again, poking it through my little bit of oasis here. A little bit, so I want to carry that texture through, so a little bit up and through here. Again, now I'm bringing, now I've got the smooth leaves and I've got a little bit of texture coming in over the top. And then I thought, oh, what have I got? Things are getting a little bit light out in the garden. <laughs> wonder why. <laughs> I 
but I did have some of our, our stelia. This is our silver flax that we have in here. Um, so I'm going to use a little bit of the silver flax. It's called a stelia. I'm going to put a little bit of that in to give me a bit of line. Um, I might have to just wire it because this is relatively new, this piece. So I'm going to use a little bit of the astelia on here. It's going to wire that. And then I can pop it into the phone. I want it to come up a little bit more. So what I can do is just use my snips. Flame that. Power of concentration. And pop it in there. It's one. But I want it to have a little bit of elevation. So put a little bit that way, and I might give it a little bit of a friend to come over even a little bit more. So I was just having a play this morning. I thought, oh, let's just do this. We'll do one with the pin holder, and then I'm going to do one with using the um, astelia and the tile. And that way you can have a look at the two different options that you've got here. Get one in through there. This one is curving beautifully, so I'm just going to have that so it comes over a little bit that in through there like so. I want it to come over the edge of the edge of the design. So I might need to again pierce into your aspidistra leaf. It's really good. You can just pierce into it and use it as a base. Sometimes I'd even use a head of um, hydrangea. That's better. Give it a bit of control. That's it. But I want to actually now roll this going backwards. So I'm going to just cut this down here again. And I'm going to put one in that, on that side. I probably shouldn't have used the turn table, but I want to be able to turn it around. And then I'm just going to roll it. This is like you're doing pin curls. Roll and pin. Just use your mossing pins. These are the mossing pins for the new people. They're just like the wires. Um, it's like a steel pin, and then it's got like a little zigzag, and you can just roll and pin. Right now, I'll just show you how that's looking so far. To see, I've got that rhythm and the colour coming back into the design. So I'm going to put a little bit more down this other end here. Remember what I said about cutting it so you don't have like a huge piece of foam. You just want to make like a little notch. A bit more wire and you can just anchor that into the back here. I'll take that little bit of rhythm coming in from here. I'm going to roll that over and pin. Pin it in. And through. And through there. Now I didn't have a lot of the white flowers in here, so I just had a look to see what I had in the garden. So now I've got the roll to see how I want it to be. A little bit coming forward, a little bit going back. So, it's coming along quite nicely at the moment um, and now I've got here some um, of to take the white through this looks amazing with tulips and with um, calla lilies I've got just some of the snowberries I'm just going to put that little hint of white coming through again I want them up slightly a little bit more in through there there. Like that. And I've got to take a little bit to the back, take my eye and that colour right through, take a little bit out through the back here. It's good for repetition and unity in your design. So you've got that, um, got it all coming through together, so it takes your eye right through that. Just a little bit of that berry. Pop that in through there. Pop that in there. So now I'll just make sure I'm happy with that. Yep, that's looking good. Right. Pop the berries in and then what else have I got here? Well, you might put this would look really lovely with some lamb's ear. Um, that would look quite pretty. Um, I'm going to move mine in the garden, it's not doing very well where it is, and I thought, right, I'm going to move it to a really dry place and neglect it. Evidently, that works a lot better. So I'm just putting in a little bit of the Paris, it's just starting to come through, so just want a little bit. And I'm removing most of the foliage because I don't want it to um, too much. Um, too many different textures in here. We've already got a lot of pattern happening with the, with using the leather fern, but we've got it calming our eyes with the um, Vatsetera. So just a little bit of those berries coming through. That there, I might just tuck in under there a little bit like that. Happy with that. Now I need to bring that same form in through here a little bit. So pop 
Let's put them through here just to take the iron. There's a minute. It's all in the way, yeah. <laughs> there you go, so it's coming around. And then all I had in the garden really um, that I could use because my dahlias are nearly done is I do have my camellias. Um, and I am going to take a picture and show you their hedge at the moment. So I want to bring that colour down. So I'm just going to use one in under here to take the white through. So just think about putting that, whoop, popping that in through there like so. That one in there, that one over a bit. That's better. So I've got the white coming down there. A little one in through there. I might have to turn this around so I can see what I'm doing. But put one through there. Give it a little friend, but to give now I'm stepping them in. The idea is not to have them like little satellite dishes where they're looking dead at you. So layering them back in gives the design gradation. So it actually takes your eye in. So we're going to do the same on this side. Pop another little one out through here. Slightly out through the back this time. Again, just watch where I'm putting my fingers. So I've got one out the back. So my eye's coming straight over and then it's moving with that line of colour. And a couple of little buds in through here. I might have to move over a little bit, come over this side. A couple of buds now stepping our colour back in. And I'll put another one in through there, give it a buddy, put one there. I had one white dahlia left, so I'm going to pop the one white dahlia in here because I thought he looked so lonely out there. So I'm going to put one dahlia in there, tuck it down low. I've got another little bud here just to step back in here. Put that one in through here a little bit. It'll be a bit tricky when you pop them in. So I'm just being quite careful. I don't want to break them, so I'm just being gentle with them. So I've got that happening there so far. So just using a, um, if you haven't got a container at home, just think about getting some tiles. These are really good to do as a, a workshop for your groups because you just go and buy a whole lot of tiles that are really cheap in the bargain bin, uh, end of lines, and then you can just make a nice little table piece like this. Now, if you haven't got a lot of flowers, I thought, right, I'm going to use some of my little lines. So rather than having them where they're like little satellites like this, put the toothpicks in on an angle, do two, so when you put them in, you can layer them in. Oh gosh, that smells nice. You can layer them in. Pop that one in a little bit further. Pop that one there. And now I'm going to give it a friend. And angle these ones just slightly a little bit more because it's going to come above that one and sort of like group it. Oh, it smells divine. <laughs> oh, yum. And now I'm going to take the same form and put just a one out the back through here. Again, a couple more toothpicks on an angle. And I'm going to put just a couple in through there. So when you look at it, you've got that little bit of unity coming through with repetition of form. That repetition of form and colour balance. We've got the white coming out, the silver, which is lightening the design. And um, so that's the design there, just using a tile and your bit of foam wrapped in aspidus relief. Um, to build from and then it doesn't matter if you can see the mechanics. I like to have it quite settled down that end um, And then of course we've got this one here was which was done with using the pin holder So I'll move that to the side And bring that one in there I might Take it off the table and might be able to see it a little bit better. There we go Got a bit of a mess up in here. I'm always in a bit of a muddle, but I thought I'd show you more than just one today I'm Pull that one over like so. So I hope you enjoyed that today and it is lovely seeing you all. Hello Sue, how are you over there in Kent? Oh and who's that, Margaret? Hello Margaret, how are you? Nice to see you over there too and, and where are you? You are in Dalby is it? Oh wow. Um, so lovely to see you all. I hope you enjoyed that today. Now tomorrow I'm going to be doing an, um, a design using all New Zealand native plant material and I thought I would show you how to make the flax flowers on a separate video that you can look into and then I'm going to do one that's just all New Zealand and uh, have a wonderful day everyone. The sun's shining here so uh, and like I say the birds are out and we're all singing so look after yourselves take care and I'll see you again tomorrow. Don't forget, keep emailing me and sending me those pictures in and I'll just reply where I can. So take care. Bye for now everybody.